This land was once owned by a lone rich man whom the earth remembers a great industrial man. Responsible of rapid decline of air quality and deforestation across the planet, his aggressive business practices consisted even of hostile corporate takeovers. Much to your dismay, his past time activities included stomping on rabbits like your daisy. His last words were, you can't do this to me, I'm rich. Hello, welcome back to PlayStation Doom Reloaded. This is The Twisted Manor by Yikesdude754. And in this one we have 100 enemies and 11 secrets. And to get all the secrets, most of them are quite easy, relatively speaking, but there is one that is quite challenging, but we'll come to that later. So flip the switch to open the door, and inside we've got hit scanners and uh, inkies. I'm recording this just after having practiced it, so it's uh, fresh in my mind. <laughs> because, um, yeah, one of the secrets is really challenging. Well, I think so, anyway. There's not an absurd amount of enemies in it, but um, it's the secrets that make it... Uh, what it is. Make it challenging. I'm not even sure what I just opened. So this is part of the secret that we'll come to later. Now I think first what I'm going to do is just clear out a few enemies here and there just to try and um, just gradually immerse myself into the level. Uh, I think there's a secret here. Maybe it's the other side. Yeah, probably an, on another panel somewhere. Another one left, and in this room we also get some Hell Knights guarding the uh, yellow key. So grab the yellow key. And there's a switch here, but we'll come to this later. That That is part of the... Um, I would say the hardest secret to get in this. But uh, we'll deal with that later on. So yeah, clearing out these kind of enemies is not a bad idea. You don't have to, you can just uh, tackle the secrets first and kill them as they come. So that's one secret, this panel here. Off the top of my head I forget what that does. But uh, my guess is that it opens up an area. Uh, because it didn't give us anything in terms of uh, a power-up or anything. It's 
weird, having just played this in a practice literally minutes ago, I'm already uh, starting to struggle. <laughs> right, so pressing down on the switch here. We'll lower this, giving you a secret. So that's two out of eleven. I think I will use the yellow key. A few Hell Knights in here with a... Whoops, imps and... The odd hit scanner. And here, on this wall here, it's a secret. Giving you the green armour, it, um, it doesn't hurt the lava, so you're okay to walk on it. And when I have the red key, I can then go through there later. So, three secrets, about a quarter of the way there. Uh, yeah, let's go in this direction. Plenty of enemies on this one. And probably time for the minigun, chain gun. Is this room cleared out yet? Yeah. Okay, so you've got these um, teleporters on each side. So I'm going to start from... It doesn't really matter, but I'm going to start from this side. So that transports you into this room. You may have noticed it earlier on. Inside was a couple of shotgunners, which I killed. So that's another secret. That's four out of eleven. And you get transported back here. Uh, I think it was that side I went to. Let's try this side. Right, so what did I get there? Ah, another teleporter. Yeah, you need to step on the teleporter as well, so that gives you... That's two secrets in one. And this is the uh, the Megasphere, which I am going to save, because um, there's, an, there's, a, there's a bit later on where there's um, the possibility of taking damage from lava. So, just to reiterate, that was two secrets. You get a secret for walking into the teleporter, and then another secret for walking onto the teleporter, which gives you the uh, Megasphere. Another secret, this is the Rocket Launcher. So, that's an easy one. So all of a sudden I've got seven. And this one gives you the super shotgun. And there's the, what I think is the uh, the Williams symbol. Um, if memory serves me right, that's the um, publisher for PlayStation Doom. So. I assume Rock Hard Gamer, um, sorry, not Rock Hard Gamer, um, Yikes Dude wanted to um, pay homage to uh, William, so that's that inclusion there. 
So that's now eight, so I'm going to leave that area for a bit. And I'm going to go this way, because I think there's a secret down here. No, it's on this side, isn't it? There we are. Rockets, there we are, so that's nine. And I think it's probably time... It's, it's crazy, I can't remember how I got the blue key, which is the first thing I got when I did a practice run. Yeah, can't go through there. Like, ah, yes, I know the blue key's through here. Silly me. Lots of enemies in here. Just when you think it's over, there's more of them. And there's also hit scanners in here. scanner that I missed. Oh! <laughs> um, part of the shotgun spray must have uh, just caught him. Because he was over here. Right, so flip the switch to get the blue key. Seems madness that I couldn't remember where I got the blue key from. And there's plenty of uh, power-ups, uh, well, minor items in here, so... Uh, Indulge. And plasma, I think I need some of that. Oh, I've got more than I thought. And I think that's about it for this room, pretty much. There are these switches here, which are lights, I believe, so currently I take it that means it's on. Oh no, that's on, and that's off. When I first played this, I was tinkering around with these for ages, trying to find some relevance to them. But that's all they do. So not a terrific amount of enemies in this level, but a ton of secrets, and now that means I can go this way. And this room's quite different. Good. Armor's hanging on by a thread. So, I will grab the shells. So there's this, like, um, encased room. Just flip the switch. And 
and you will see a series of many, many teleporters. I can't quite remember the relevance of that one there that's lit up. I think... Yeah, no, I think that's the, the final one you step on. But there's a certain order that you need to do it. So, you need to face the, uh, the direction you, you wish to go in. And gradually they will light up as you go. And then flip the switch and there is the red key. Uh, now, that was... The only reason that went so well was because I, I say I did a practice earlier and um, I must have taken so much damage. If you do sp uh, step on the wrong teleporter, then you'll teleport into this room where there's lava. But there is a, um, a berserk pack that I'll take. Oh dear. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to leave this area before I end up dying. I'm going to use the red key to flip that switch. And while I think of it, I think I'm going to grab the green armor, which was in the... yellow room. Yellow... Through the yellow door, I think. I'm not sure if this is the only armor. It might be. And because I've got the red key, I can now flip that switch. At the beginning of the level, I don't know whether I... Oh. These enemies are interrupting me. I'll come back to them anyway. No, I can't, because I think there's going to be some there as well. Um, grab some health. I think I could do with it. He's gone right at the back. Yeah, I know the level reasonably well, but not like the back of my hand, so hence, uh, there's still the odd surprise for me. Um, I'll open this door, but there's going to be some more enemies here. And what I was going to say was, I don't know whether I showed it, but there was a series of blocks here preventing you from going down this corridor at the very beginning of the level. Lots of Hell Knights in this level. And uh, Lost Souls. and uh, pain elementals. Yeah, 
so as I was trying to say earlier, there's a there was a series of blocks preventing you from going forward. But uh, flipping the switch in the yellow key room after having gained the red key will open this up. And something worth mentioning is shooting that switch, that torch I should say, will open not a secret as such, but um, an easter egg. Which I can't remember what Rock Hard Gamer said um, when uh, watching his video, but I think there's some relevance to something or other, which doesn't ring a bell for me. But um, if you want the full explanation, I think uh, it'd be best to watch his video. But uh, some people might understand what that relevance is, but I don't. Or I can't remember anyway. So that's the kind of unofficial secret. Alright, I will grab that Megasphere that I found earlier. Oh, that uh, room doesn't close, so that's something. So this exit will take you to um, the regular level, which will be, I think that is, I think it's Hellish Resort, which is number 45, but I'm not going that way. I'm just wondering if the hard secret I've been constantly mentioning is one that gives you two secrets in one, I'm not just sure. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is flip the switch, step into this teleporter which will appear, and that will teleport me. Uh, I think it teleports you inside that there, and then you need to flip a switch. I'll show you what I mean because it's, it's, it gets a bit um, hard to describe without doing it. So this will be not doing it properly, but showing you the steps involved, so sw uh, switch that. Ah, there's one secret. Then you would flip that. Make sure you uh, flip that as well. And then you're teleported back to the main door. And when this is down, you would then be teleported here. And then, if you've done it quickly enough, you can uh, step backwards into another room, but you are partly relying on luck because these pillars go up and down. So it, there is a certain degree of lucky timing with it. I've done it. I can't believe it on my second go. Wow, in the practice, I did it twice in the practice, once with keyboard and mouse, and that took about, I don't know, 20 or 30 goes, and then once on the controller, which took about the same. So yeah, this will take us to the um, next level, which is also a secret level, level 96, which is called, um, I think it's called Williams District. Again, I believe um, relevance to the publisher. So I think that is absolutely everything, therefore I'm ready to go, so... Um, I didn't notice that when you step into that teleporter, um, an exit is opened on the left as you walk in where the shotgunners were at the beginning, which I must admit I hadn't even noticed, but that's there, with another William sign. So, with that said, I hope that makes it relatively clear. I'll step into the exit and carry on with the next level.
One of the better and preserved districts of Earth calls you in for a ride long before UAC became mainstream. Other powerful corporations existed, one of which has been almost as powerful as UAC during its heyday. As time passed, UAC's erratic growth and influence was eventually so widespread and extended to almost every corner of the state. This would literally allow UAC to buy anything by finger point, including major competitors. Acquired corporations would often be shut down after a, corporation, after a corporate restructuring plan soon after. However, their legacy still stands strong in the corner of the fallen earth. <laughs>